Hey guys, welcome back. So this item here, um, I wanted to recently get a uh, C64 SD to IEC, you know, so I don't have to use the floppy drive or the tape drive. 35 plus shipping from overseas. So interesting. So I figured I would open it up and maybe we can test it and see if it works. So I figure we'll open this up, see if we can get in here and see what's in the box. All right, some packing materials. There's a card for, I didn't realize I actually bought from a company, Retro Computer Store. Again, I bought this. I didn't receive this by any, any way. Packaging. And the item itself. So here it is. Again, this is the, uh, so this is the S2.IEC converter. No case or anything on here. It's just the, the unit itself. I'm not sure to open that right, but whatever. And that's it. There we <laughs> Not a whole lot to it. So we're taking a closer look at the board itself because everything is you know tiny. So we want to get a good close up look at it here. Not get too much glare. Uh, we have this little solder connection here, which goes to the serial cable, which goes to the back of the C64. Uh, right here we have the cassette port, which also goes to the C64. I believe that's how it gets power, if I read that correctly. And then on the rest of the board, there's not a whole lot else. I mean, there's a lot of stuff on here, but as far as what you need for, there's the uh, SD card, which is using a micro SD. Uh, we have three LEDs. Looks like we have power, write and read LED, uh, LED lights right here. And there's three buttons. And the buttons are kind of hard to read, but if you look at them, one's kind of blobbed by the whatever adhesive server stuff they put with this cable, but that should be the back button in the middle, the next button on that end, and the reset right right in the left here. Um, you know, other than that, oh, and of course down here, which is the device selector, I guess is how you choose what what order this is. A uh, little warning or a little advice saying this side up. And we flip it over. It's not a whole lot, oh, turn it so you can see it. Not a whole lot going on back here. You have C64 logo, uh, this little, I know there's a logo for something, I can't remember what it is right now, that gear and Steelers logo, I guess. And that's it, sd.iec, based on design. So again, got this on eBay. Um, I know they sell these on some other websites like the Future is 8-Bit, and I, I wanna say maybe Amazon has these as well. But yeah, that's the, the device right here. So I figure we'll, I uh, gotta see how to load some files onto the SD card and we'll plug it into the C64 and we can see what loads. So as far as the files go, I did find um, a little how-to and some information over on the GeekPub. And then from there, I downloaded the CBM file manager right here. Open that zip file and we have some various utilities. So what I'm looking for is the FB64 since I'm running this on a C64. And I just had to find that specific file. So going into this program folder going down right here, FB64. So I took that file, copied that right over to the uh, SD card, which is formatted already. SD card, um, I'm using a one gig card and it's formatted as FAT32. So I copied over the FB64 file. After that, used an archive site and got over some of these game files right here. So copied Ghouls and Ghosts, Giant Sisters, Jumpman, Rampage, Ghostbusters check out how they work and I put them on the drive so they're all on the root of the drive and that's it and this is gonna go right into the SD to IEC on the back of the C64 obviously it powered off and then power back on so let's check that out now as far as connecting it to the C64 I don't mind these I didn't put these stickers on but I guess whoever I bought this from this was useful to them so we have the cable going to the disk drive slot and then this part going into the cassette port. Oh, so I'm not gonna put, I'm gonna use a different C64, I believe, to do this. I'm not gonna push this fully in now, but it would go right there. All right, so here we are at the boot up screen for the C64, and we have the SD to IEC plugged in the back, and I have a couple images on the, uh, on the drive there, so we're gonna check it out. So typically loading this is like loading anything else off floppy disk, so the Command for pretty much everything. You know, we have load, space, quote, asterisk, 
quote, comma, space, eight. I don't know if that space is needed, but I put it there. I think you need it. Loading, ready. Okay, so now we're going to run. So this should run the first program on the SD card, which is the uh, D64 program. Sorry, FB64 program. So here we are. So we can go down with the joystick or the cursor keys. So I'm going to go down to Jumpman, which I have on here. And we'll let that load up. And it loaded into this. So I want to go down to Jumpman again. And it can see on the right side there, it says PRG for program. So I guess it started the program, but went into a directory. I had to skip a little bit of this loading because it takes a bit. Now, as you can see, we have our... Um, as with a lot of these uh, C64 disc images, they are formally, well, they are <laughs> cracked discs from back in the day. So a lot, of the, a lot of these, you get these demo screens on them. And we get more loading. <laughs> and we get the Epix logo. Hit enter, beginner game, option one, return, one player, first level, player one. And there I am. I am using a uh, Epic Speed King joystick. Oh, oh, I thought I jumped that bullet. I guess not. Obviously, games like this are crude by today's standards, but, you know, back when, this is what you had, this is what you played. Nope. And I fell down the bottom. And off screen. <laughs> Oops. Alright, now we'll go to the disc for Great John Sisters. All right, so again, we get a demo screen. But we do get fantastic C64 graphics. And for anybody who hasn't seen this, so this game is pretty much like Mario, even though I guess they said it wasn't supposed to be like Mario. I'm a little fuzzy on exactly what, but I mean, if you look at it, it's um, Mario. <laughs> Mario with different characters, but the layout is very, very much the same. And on this one playing is, and this is awkward, the up on the joystick is the jump. And the action button, the fire button, I'm not 100% sure what that is supposed to do. As you can see, it's, you know, it's very Mario-like, but it's, it's not terrible. I mean, at the time when this came out, I mean, it was something to play in your C64 if, if this is all you had. I mean, C64, you know, being a computer was still known as, you know, a games machine. Alright, so final look at... All right, so in conclusion, SD to IEC, I think for a C64 or apparently any Commodore system, it works for the VIC-20. From what I read, it works on with a different cable. It'll work on the um, on the PET, probably other devices too, SS64 possibly. And I think having something like that with, you know, floppy disks, unfortunately, they wear out or they're just old at this point, but the hardware still works. We give a working floppy drive, but the discs, not so much. Even the drives, you know, all the moving parts. But as far as the actual computers themselves, they're all, you know, there's no moving parts in them. With proper care and some maintenance, the computers still work. So it's really nice to have a solution that, you know, pop the SD card in with some with some floppy images and, and you can play the games again, run the software again. It's just, just fantastic. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Thanks for watching.